Are we wasting the potential of human waste as a resource? As more of humanity migrates to cities, informal settlements and townships like this one near Durban grow rapidly. With this rapid urbanization comes major development challenges, such as food insecurity and inadequate sanitation, which can lead to health problems. These issues have traditionally been seen as separate challenges requiring different solutions. Increasing urban populations challenge municipal governments to respond effectively. Simultaneously, sustainable food production is difficult as it's hard for smallholder farmers near Durban to afford fertilizers, which are usually imported and expensive. However, technologies designed to close the nutrient loop offer a novel, cost-effective, and sustainable way to improve both issues at the same time. For thousands of years, people have used human waste as a fertilizer. But as modern sanitation developed, this practice was abandoned in favor of chemical fertilizers. Emerging technologies and resource scarcity now afford an opportunity to rethink this model. For example, the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology has developed a way to turn human urine into a hygienically safe liquid fertilizer with high concentrations of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Our project tested its effectiveness to increase maize yields in South Africa, and we discovered it works as well as two commonly used chemical fertilizers farmers would otherwise have to import, urea and diammonium phosphate. The implications here are huge. Current development policies take a linear approach that relies on a one-way flow of nutrients. That is, chemical fertilizers are utilized in the farming process to boost production, and humans then digest the nutrients from this food and excrete it into the sanitation system, where it is treated as a waste. But it is possible to imagine the whole process differently. By using the idea of a circular economy, one where waste is recovered and recycled to be used as a resource, Technologies such as urine nitrification enable us to produce nutrient-rich fertilizer from urine in order to create an effective soil input that returns essential nutrients back to the soil. The biophysical results are clear, which is great, but how will the public react to this idea? So to answer this critical question, our research explored consumer acceptance of food grown with nitrified human urine. It's not just about making the technology, it's also about how to shift an embedded socio-technical system towards a more sustainable trajectory. And to do that, we need people. In addition to conducting a participatory field trial with smallholder farmers, we conducted a quantitative survey across the municipality of Missinduzi, and we sampled about 400 households across the rural, peri-urban, and urban areas of the municipality. They were concerned about the health implications of consuming food grown with an untreated waste. When we were able to say that the urine had been treated, that it was safe, that all of the pathogens in the urine had been inactivated, we saw a very large shift in attitudes. People were far more willing to say, yes, I would be willing to purchase food and consume food grown with our urine than with raw urine. So this new technology has the potential to reimagine the rural urban relationship. And in so doing, it can improve urban sanitation while simultaneously supporting a sustainable and resilient agroecosystem. Our project demonstrated that from both a biophysical as well as a social perspective, that human urine can reduce our dependence on chemical fertilizers.